As part of this video, I will quickly walk you through the details related to Ternal on VS Code. Ternal is very effective. You should be able to run command line commands using Ternal on VS Code. If it is Mac, it will launch using Mac Ternal. If it is Windows, you have options between Git Bash, DOS Prompt, PowerShell, etc. To get started with Ternal, you just have to click on these three dots and then Ternal and then New Ternal. It will launch the terminal for you. You can see the flavor of the terminal here. In this case, it is nothing but PowerShell. Whatever commands that work typically in PowerShell on Windows will work here. It is same as uh, what we see when we launch PowerShell from our search. This one and this one are same. This approach of launching terminal with PowerShell or DOS prompt can come very handy when we get into serious development. For example, at this point in time, in this location, I have hw.py. If I want to validate this file uh, by using python command, I should be able to launch the terminal. Then I can say python, then hw.py. You can see it have printed hello world without any issues. Now, if I wanted to validate using PowerShell, then I have to launch PowerShell. Then I have to go to that location. The location is nothing but uh, projects, then hw. You can see the hw.py here. Now I have to say python hw.py. You can see hello world here. Also, if you have Python virtual environment, uh, when you actually launch uh, a terminal, uh, it will also activate the Python virtual environment. When I get into Python virtual environments in later videos, you will understand what I'm talking about here. So the terminal, uh, when it comes to VS Code, is uh, quite handy. Uh, you don't need to launch PowerShell anymore. You can directly launch terminal with PowerShell and take it forward. Also, on top of PowerShell, you have other options too. You can see Git Bash because I have installed Git Bash on this machine. Uh, you might even see DOS prompt in some cases. Yeah, you can see command prompt here. This is nothing but DOS prompt. If in case, if you wanted to use Git Bash, you can uh, click on Git Bash here. Now the terminal is based on Git Bash. Git Bash is based on Linux or Unix terminal. Hence, you should be able to run any Linux or Unix commands. For example, to list files, you should be able to say ls-ltr. It is a valid Unix or Linux command and you can see the details about the files here. Uh, now you see we have PowerShell and also we have Bash. In case if you wanted to exit from here, you can type exit. You can see I have exited from there and as of now we have only one prompt. Hence it is only showing that single prompt. Now let me launch git bash again. Uh, if you wanted to delete this, you can also click on this. It will delete that terminal. PowerShell terminal is gone. Now git bash terminal is still active. Either you can uh, type exit and come out of it or you can click on delete to delete. One of the common mistake many developers do is they'll keep on creating new terminals and they don't keep the uh, terminals clean. It is better to avoid uh, uh, creating too many terminals. It can be very confusing for you. It's better to uh, launch one or two terminals and uh, switch between the uh, one or two terminals and use them depending upon your needs. Also, there is a shortcut to launch terminal. Instead of going to three dots and then terminal and new terminal, you can use control shift and back tick. Back tick is there on the left side of one. You should be able to use it or you can also click on this. You can see it have launched this bottom section and uh, it can be either problems or output by default. You can always click on terminal to go to terminal. Even this comes very handy to launch terminal. You can also toggle between full editor and uh, the uh, toggle panel uh, by clicking on this. Uh, this is how you should be able to take care of launching terminal fairly quickly. That being said, I have covered quite a few important tips to use terminal effectively and also I have explained the concepts related to the terminal in this video. If you like, feel free to click on the like button. In case if you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions, feel free to use comment section. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, uh, make sure to subscribe and also hit on bell icon so that you get uh, these kind of tips to your inbox whenever we upload into our YouTube channel. That being said, before uh, wrapping up, let me click on this to delete my terminal.